on 15 December, we venerate Blessed Mary Frances Chevier, who was the founder of two religious congregations of religious sisters of the Third Order Regular of St. Francis, both committed to serving the neediest of the poor. One, the Poor Sisters of St. Francis, is based in her native Germany, and the other, the Franciscan Sisters of the Poor, was later formed from its province in the United States. Frances Chevier was born into a wealthy family in Aachen, in Germany. Her father was a wealthy needle factory owner and the wise mayor of Aachen. Her French mother, the goddaughter of Emperor Francis I of Austria, provided a strict home environment. After the death of both her mother and two sisters from tuberculosis when she was 13, Chevier became the homemaker for her father and developed a reputation for generosity to the poor from her growing awareness of their desperate conditions. In a dispute over the rights of the Catholic Church in 1837, the Prussian government imprisoned the Archbishop of Cologne, causing a great public reaction. The repercussion was a revival of religious spirit, especially in Westphalia and the Rhine country. In the wake of this spiritual awakening, some prominent Aachen ladies started a society for the relief of the poor and approached Chevier's father, Johann, to permit Chevier to join. He agreed at first, but later demurred when she began to nurse the sick in their homes, fearing that she might carry the disease into his own house. Joseph Eistis, who was curate at St. Paul Parish in Aachen, and founder of St. John's Kitchen for the Poor, deeply impressed Chevier, who began to work very closely with him, but their friendship ended abruptly with Eistis's premature death in 1843. The following year, she and four other young ladies became president members of the Third Order of St. Francis. In 1845, Chevier's life took an unexpected turn, her father died and a family friend, Gertrude Frank, told Chervier that she was called to serve God and he would show her in whose company. She considered joining the Trappistines, but instead of entering an existing convent on 3rd October 1845, she and four other women left their homes to establish a religious community devoted to caring for the poor under Chervier's leadership. With the permission of a priest, they went to live together in a small house beyond St. James's Gate and Chervier was chosen superior of the community. The life of the sisters was conventual and their time spent in religious exercises, household duties and caring for the sick and the poor. They formed the nucleus of the community that became known as the Poor Sisters of St. Francis. From 1845 until 1848, the sisters continued to care for the sick in their homes and to operate a soup kitchen. They also cared for prostitutes in their own small home and nursed women suffering from syphilis. Relying entirely upon donations for support, the sisters experienced extreme poverty. The pre-revolutionary potato and grain failures and the refusal of some benefactors to continue their assistance once the sisters began ministering to prostitutes intensified their difficulties. More women joined the group in 1849, expanding the ministry beyond Aachen. Not only did they care for victims of cholera, smallpox, typhoid fever and cancer, but they also supervised women prisoners at the Aten prison and assisted them in finding employment after their release. The congregation obtained formal church recognition from the local bishop on 2nd July 1851, despite some authorities' objections to Chevier's severe position regarding personal poverty. Soon after receiving formal recognition as a religious congregation, they spread their service overseas. An American foundation was established within seven years to serve German emigrant communities in New York, New Jersey, Ohio, and Northern Kentucky. 
At the same time, Frances oversaw the foundation of several hospitals and sanatoria in both Europe and the United States for those suffering from tuberculosis, then a widespread cause of death, especially among the working classes. In 1857, she encouraged Philip Hover, a Franciscan tertiary, in his efforts to establish the Poor Brothers of St. Francis. Like the sisters, they are a religious congregation of lay brothers of the Franciscan Third Order Regular, instituted for charitable work among orphan boys and educating the youth of the poorer classes. Shervia visited the United States in 1863 and helped her sister's nurse soldiers wounded in the American Civil War. St. Mary Hospital in Hoboken in New Jersey was founded for this work. Placing all our petitions before Blessed Mary Frances Shervia today, let us pray. To you, O Lord, we lift up our hearts and voices. By the holy example of your servant, Blessed Mary Frances, may we grow in love for the poor and sick, devoting our lives to seeking you in prayer and in the face of those who are suffering. By imitating her love for simplicity, may we shun the lure of wealth and prestige in this life and seek first the kingdom of God. Help us through her intercession to turn our sorrows and struggles into paths of holiness through generous works of mercy and fervent heartfelt prayer. May our lives bring glory to your holy name, O God, and may you be adored forever. Amen.